connected. Good evening, everybody. Now riding on the CRF250L again. Oh, there's a pretty cool creek right there. Oh, well, I see. A, oh, there is a perch in there. They just went up under the rocks. Seen some perch in there. I didn't think there was going to be anything in there. But uh, I started to say there must be some cows. I knew I smelled it. See there? I started to say I smell cow pucky around here pretty strong. But uh, this is my second day I rode the other day with this uh, made a video showing this when I installed it and I thought well I'll take it out today and uh, I still had it on the bike so I'm gonna try it again the other day went good and I just made a short ride with that video on it today I'll do a little longer ride on the back roads but by myself today no wifey She's at work. It's actually Saturday. Um, here we're back on the gravel. But sometimes it's nice. I get bored at home sitting around if she's not there and I I just like to go out for a ride and when you're you know, I'm alone anyway, so get on the bike and go for a ride and got time to think. And just enjoy this wonderful weather that uh, the Lord's created for us. There's an old cemetery out there. Wonderful weather, the beautiful scenery. It's actually today, I think it's like 90 degrees out. It's pretty warm, but when you get down in these, the cool part about riding in the back roads is like this, is the shade, it's not bad at all. Got a little breeze blowing. Now if you stop and sit in the sun very long, you'd be sweating pretty good. But there's a good breeze blowing down through here. Got some wind right there, pretty good. Which way? I think we're going to take a ride. I don't know. Oh yeah, I've been on this road. There's so many I can't remember. <laughs> I forget which roads I've been on, which one I haven't off out in here but this is cool because it's along the creek bottom here partially for a ways anyhow you can see how wet it is right here a bit of mud Lots of springs come out of these hillsides here in Missouri. Out of them ledge rocks. And some of them are wet weather springs and some of them are like mine at my house. It runs year round. But uh, some of them are just wet weather only after it rains and for a few days or a week or so. My wife showed me the strangest picture. Well, there ain't much water in that creek. But there is a few minnows. Um, she showed me a picture of a hog with hair on it like a sheep. I've never seen nothing like it. So I just had to take and just look at it. Just stop once in a while and just look at it. If you guys ever watch Ed Bassmaster, that guy's a nut. <laughs> he is super funny. He does that just look at it. And Craigslist, Craigslist prank calls. There's some minners there. I wore some tires off on the bike. I bet them old cows. I smell some more of that cow pucky. I bet them old cows 
enjoy them creeks instead of old nasty ponds. That nice spring water is a whole lot better tasting, I'm sure, than an old scummy pond. I've done lots of swimming in a pond back when I was young. You gotta do what you gotta do. This is where the German Shepherd was chasing us one time down through here. That truck wasn't right there. But there was a German Shepherd chasing us and it was running. I guess all that stuff wasn't there because that wasn't there. It had been a couple of years ago. But it was running down through there and it ran head on into that pole. It was turned back looking at us. <laughs> it acted like it hurt the poor dog. But that dude ran right into that pole. He wasn't even paying attention to where it was going. I don't mind when dogs chase it when they're over there. Not out here in the road with you. Trying to bite you on the heels. Another creek. Might want to get out the fishing rod. Break out my fly rod and see if I can catch a minner. Give me a cow pucky. I don't miss milking them cows, that's for sure. Uh oh. Truck in the road. Truck in the road. They must be herding cattle. Trying to get some cattle across. Are you hurting that dog? Are you hurting that dog? Oh, I thought maybe you had this block because you're bringing some cows or hogs or something. Oh. oh, okay. I seen that big wiener right there. That dog. If it tears my tire off, I'll sue you. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Getting some lean on it so you could wash that truck out. Let's go up this one here. Man, them old cows. It's hot. They like it in that pond. Look at them taking the tail and splashing water up on their backs. Look at that bull out there. That's a bunch of bull, that's what that is. I think them females have got him excited. It happens. Well, they're actually not, it's not really a pond, because it's a spring. I imagine that's nice cold water. There's no house out there. Heck, maybe somebody lives in that old house. Yeah, I think they do, back in there, not the trailer, the one back in there. Uh-oh, we're back to one of these paved roads. Look at them catapa trees. There ain't no catapa worms on there either. My catapa tree don't have none either this year. Okay, so tell me, this ain't turned. Sometimes too easy. Is there an adjustment on these to stop them from turning? Because it's not the ball, it's the mechanism part of it, not the, not actually the ball, to tighten that up so it's stiffer. And when I hit bumps it won't turn, so if somebody has a way to do it, comment. I'll check it out.
Somebody been cutting some brush. I got him a mattress laid out there in the brush. I wonder what that's for. Uh oh, there's a dirt biker. Looks like an old XR. Hey, I remember riding them. That's a lot of fun. I had some. Well, I actually started on a QA50 or Q50 Honda. <laughs> 70s or 60s model. And then I went to the XRs, XR70, XR100. Oh yeah, that was a good old days. <laughs> old seller out there, it's an old house place. There's a dirt biker there too, man. And a Polaris four-wheeler. Check that out. Honeymoon Cottage right there. Give Miss Woodsman to move in it with me. Whoa. The heck of a road to come up to right there. There ain't no stinking stop sign or nothing. We all didn't get ran over anyway. They we're back in the big city here of Ridgely, Missouri. Watch it there, mean dog. <laughs> Barry County Sheriff's Department. what that was. He might come after me for rev bombing the uh, dog. I can tell you what, when you're rev bombing with a 250L with a stock exhaust, you're not doing much. I think his car is following me. Better, they're just going the same way. I don't like being followed. I'm going to pull over here in a minute and let them go by, probably. Then they will get suspicious. See what happens then. Watch this. Be like, what the heck's this guy doing? Here they come, here they come. There they go. Forward escape. Oh, get the brakes on. Probably it's because it's such a vicious hill. If I was on the Africa Twin, I'd be burning the brakes off trying to keep from running over that thing. Yep, i to do something with this thing because it just keeps turning all the time. It's making me crazy. Well, that ain't just fancy. I want to take a picture of that.
Poison mushrooms. Killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom. Deadly. I don't know if they're poison or not. It'd be quite a jump off if I come down off a hill. Just bunny hop right into this road. Everybody needs a Blake. Two and that could. I want to be a cowboy. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Just look at it. The most important thing is still there, the turlet. And in this case there's a tornado, then you get the crap scared out of you, run in there. Amazing what that is. Hey guys, thank y'all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Smash that thumbs up. I know you people don't want to or something, or maybe you're not uh, registered on YouTube and you can't, I don't know, but smash the thumbs up, please. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Lots more Woodsman Adventures to come. Right on.